Chris was saying that when um, the UCLA was shown, there was you know some some yells, some cheers. I guess when you when the when the playing game came up, was it a little bit of uh, you know not quite as excited? I mean, it's it's, it's March Madness. I mean, we're in the dance. That's that's all you're you're playing for the whole season. So. Um, you're just playing, yeah, playing for the opportunity now, so and we have a chance. So it's just about uh, taking it one game at a time and just preparing the best we can for this game on Tuesday. How much harder does it make, though, that you guys have you know an extra game in there? Or you'd have to win three games in six days to get to the Sweet 16. I mean, I think it's it's a similar stretches that we've had um, previously this season, and we just played two games in a row back in the Pac-12 uh, tournament. So. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's an extra game, of course, but I think uh, it is March Madness. The adrenaline's going to be pumping constantly, so um, it's the best time of the year. It's just more basketball, so it's all I can really ask for. There have been two seasons when you've been here where you guys have been really on the bubble and had to rely on the Selection Sunday show. What was more stressful today's or the one back in 2015, I believe it was? <laughs> um, that's tough. I mean, it's, it's, it's similar situations where yeah, you're kind of just nervously waiting and watching to see what's going to end up happening. Um, I don't know if, if you can really compare one greater than the other, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just an incredible feeling to have made it in now and, and to have a shot at playing in the big tournament now. Do you guys feel like you've found a nice formula here these last three games with the way you've been playing? Yeah, no, I think uh, we're starting to figure some things out. We're starting to play much better together as a team. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely uh, hitting our stride at the right time. So I'm just hoping we can uh, keep it moving forward. You guys didn't know you are one of the last four in, but going into today's election show, how confident were you that you would, would be in? I felt pretty confident going in, to be honest. Yeah, I think uh, I think our resume spoke for itself. I think we had some pretty good wins and finished decently enough in the conference. But that's kind of the thing, too. I mean, if you don't win your conference tournament, you're still just waiting to see what happens. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, just really excited that we got in and really excited for this game on Tuesday. How weird was it with the new format of introducing the at-large bids alphabetically as opposed to just kind of randomly in each bracket? Do you like that better? or? I, I like the old way, to be honest, and, and kind of going to what Chris said too. I mean, you got all the Texas schools getting in and just waiting uh, to to get to the U's for to see how how we end up doing. But I mean, yeah, it's it's gets the adrenaline going for sure. But yeah, I'm just really excited that we uh, are playing more basketball now. You've sat through a few selection shows now. Is your heart pumping as fast as it always was? Oh yeah, no, it's it's a feeling that can't be beat. I mean, it's because yeah, I mean, this is what you play for all year long, and, and just to have a shot uh, here and. and uh, Big NCAA tournament, so yeah, I mean, just to know that we're in, it's very exciting. We're just really, really uh, just getting ready to go now for the game on Tuesday. Where were you guys in a film room, or what room were you in watching? Uh, in the uh, meal room here. Oh, college. okay. Yeah, okay. Knowing that you guys may might have been on the bubble the last couple of three weeks, when did it start for you as being a senior? When did it start for you as being like every game could be my last game if we lose? Not my last game in my career, but if I lose that, we might not get into the tournament. When did that kind of like? sense of urgency kick in for you? I think around the time of the uh, the two Oregon games we had at home, uh, I think, yeah, I mean, once you get a, even any game in February or even late January, I mean, uh, the games start meaning that much more because, of course, yeah, you want to start playing well and you want to uh, do everything you can to bolster your re uh, resume uh, heading into March. So, uh, but yeah, I think around that time it started really hitting me like, you know, we got to got to get hot and get start, got to start winning some games. And, and I think we did a really good job with that. So, yeah, I was really excited for this opportunity. You guys won't have to play back to back like you did in the Pac-12 tournament. How much could that help given, you know, we saw what you guys could do through 40 minutes after playing back to back uh, games and now you won't have to do that uh, again in consecutive days. Yeah, no, I think it's it's just a good experience to have to, to go through something like that, especially uh, in March, just to get the adrenaline going and have two uh, tough games like that. Um, but yeah, no, now in this situation where uh, if we do end up uh, uh, winning that first game, we'll have an extra day of rest in between. So, uh, but at the end of the day, it's just about taking it one day at a time and one game at a time. So we're just going to be uh, getting a lot of preparation in and just be focusing on St. Bonnie's uh, for this first game. So, how different is the approach for like a tournament game, knowing it's your last game, or do you treat it just like every other game of the year? I think, yeah, I think of course you still want to stay true to what we've been doing all season long. But I mean, it's it's March, it's March Madness, and, and at the end of the day, if you lose, then you're going home. So. Um, of course, you want to prepare as well as you do every game going into it, but um, there's definitely that little extra, uh, I guess, just push behind you because just knowing that uh, one loss and you're out, so it just kind of gives you a little extra motivation. Thanks, Tom.